Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, we've been doing a review of the Western Digital Livewire Power Lining Kit. Now, for those of you that don't know what power lining is, but you want to know what it is, uh, basically, let me just say the easiest way to say it very quickly is that you can get wired internet through your power outlets. Let me just put it that way. But there is a lot more details involved. Um, if you want to know how it works exactly, I'll provide a link in the video description. Just simply expand the video description, and then you'll find a link to another video in which I explain how power lining works and I'll show you my entire uh, home network setup with power lining. It's, it's fantastic, it's awesome. So anyway, uh, with that said, um, if you want to see some other power lining kits I have reviewed, I'll put links to those video reviews also in the video description. So this one is from Western Digital. Um, it's a little bit older, I think it's about, well, it's a few years old, let's just put it that way, it's all I can remember. And it is available to purchase, but you just gotta browse around. Um, and it's a bit more expensive, compared to other brands. Uh, this one it goes for roughly $100 where you can get a fairly decent set for $70 like the uh, PLSK400 I reviewed. Uh, as I mentioned that you can find a link to, to that review in the video description. So let's start with the body design and do some speed tests. So basically here at the front or whatever side you consider the front uh, you have four LED notifiers letting you know how many devices are connected via the internet ports. PC uh, PLC link basically lets you know that uh, it's connected to the power lining network. The power indicator lets you know that obviously it's receiving power. On the right side you have an on off switch which is pretty strange for a power lining kit but hey it's there. Uh, this part here is actually for this cord. Okay, You get two of these out of the box. As you can see this is how it simply plugs in. The reason this one doesn't have it on, I don't have it on me right now is because it's actually plugged in behind my father's computer and it's impossible to get out because the desk is like two or three hundred pounds. Um, so I just unplugged it and brought it up like this, but you get two of these in the box, okay? Um, over here you have nothing. Okay, here you have four ethernet ports, as I mentioned, or ethernet ports rather. Uh, this is the sync button, which basically pressing it for, I think, two seconds. Uh, as long as it's pressed for under three seconds, according to the manual, uh, it lets it sync, and you'll notice that the LED notification here starts blinking. And it's looking for another connected power lining kit, okay? And here at the bottom, here's cell number and stuff. And here, very faintly, you can see you have a reset button which you access through uh, some sort of safety pin or something. Now, one very very cool thing about this brand, or rather this power lining kit, so it's certified by the Home Plug Alliance, and basically um, what that means is that. For example, I have a Linksys power lining kit, which here is one out of the two adapters. Uh, remember, each power lining kit always has two in a box. The second one of this is plugged into my TV downstairs. These two, even though they're different brands, this one is Cisco and Linksys, this is Western Digital, they can actually communicate with one another because they're both so, uh, home plug certified. Okay, So there's no guarantee that just because it's home plug certified, uh, they'll both connect with one another, but it's like it's like a 99% chance it will be able to connect together. So you can actually use different brands and connect them to one another. So what I'm going to do now is, there's not much to really go through through a power lining kit. I'm going to do some very quick speed samples and show you how fast this thing really is. Okay, so the first part of my speed test isn't one that I'm really a fan of. As you can see, I'm just doing a regular speed test on speedtest.net. Um, basically, uh, while, while it's reading my upload speed, how I have it set up here is there's my power lining kit. I've actually yanked it out. Usually I have it tucked in there and kind of hidden. Uh, there's the power cord feeding into directly into the wall. And there's one ethernet wire going under my carpet to my TV. The black one right here is actually feeding right into my PC. Okay. So let's see what kind of results I got. Uh, you guys can judge for yourself if that's fast or not. I am uh, basically running DSL internet. If you have cable internet, your speeds will be greater. But what I'm going to do now is a more practical speed test. I'm going to download something off the internet. Um, I find that to be much better at uh, demonstrating the speeds. Okay, so at this point I want to give you more practical speed test uh, results. What I'm doing right now is downloading something off my own Google Plus account. I'm downloading a video. It's nearly about uh, a gig in size. As you can see it's fluctuating between 670 and 700k more or less. And indeed, I am connected to my power lining kit, the Western Digital power lining kit right here, the live wire. Um, so yeah, I, I find that this is a much better way of showing you guys how it works because this is like, you know, more day-to-day -day use uh, uh, type of example. 
the again the max my internet speed can hit is 800 i can confirm that other websites i have hit hit 800k which is the max speed of our dsl internet right now it's kind of fluctuating at 700 so uh let's wrap up this review okay so to break this review down into its final score i will give this power lightning kit a five out of five now i don't think i've ever given a perfect score but hear me out let me explain first um the reason I'm giving you a perfect score is, well, let's go over the pros and you'll know for yourself why. The first is that its shape and design is really simple, which is actually a good thing. You don't want anything too fancy or complicated. This is something that's meant to be hidden and it does a well job of not standing out to any weird colors or shapes uh, included on the design. Not only that, it comes with the power cord which I showed you guys on the other adapter, it kind of comes out and sticks out. What that basically means is that you're going to have a wire coming out of your power outlet, but then I can tuck this in easily behind my TV, or as I mentioned, the other one is um, actually tucked under my father's desk. Uh, so we're actually able to hide it very, very easily. Another pro is that it is home plug certified. As I said, it, that means that there's a 99% chance it'll work with other power lining kits that are also home plug certified, as I mentioned, like my other Lynx, Cisco Linksys power lining kit. Now the next pro I'm going to mention, some people might think it's not worth mentioning, but I will mention it anyway. This one comes with the on off switch, something that is extremely, extremely rare in power lining kits. Uh, it's not done too often by the bigger brands, at least. Uh, so it allows you to save power if need be. Mind you, I would estimate that this probably takes like 2 or 3 watts of power while it's on, so it's next to nothing anyway. The major pro of this power lining kit because two of them come in a box, obviously, Powerline kits always have two adapters in a box. This is one of those rare times where uh, a great brand name like Western Digital has four on both boxes. Both adapters have four Ethernet ports. So what we've basically done is, um, you know, we hooked this up when, into our router, and then, you know, we can hook up a, as many additional devices as we want. So we have the ports in our router, we have the ports here com combined, that's a huge amount of ports you have available. And then, of course, we have this one hooked up in my room, which I have one for my PC, one for my TV, and I have two more additional ports available for whatever the heck I want in the future. So there isn't much to mention about a power lining kit because it's very straightforward. But from the power lining kits I've used in my time and the ones I've gone through in the store and research, this is one of the better ones available out there. And, oh, most importantly, it provides fantastic speeds. So there's not much more to mention because power lining kits are very straight to the point. But again, that's the reason I gave it a perfect score. Something I don't think I've ever done before. And that's pretty much it. Uh, be sure to check out my Facebook, Google+, Plus, Twitter links in the video description to simply expand it. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching. <laughs>